I'm going to be honest with you guys here. I hate making this video. This is probably my worst drive of my whole trip. It took around about 13 hours. It was mainly on a highway. There was lots of tourists and just people doing crazy shit going up the up the side all, all the way, you know. And it just made the trip a really miserable trip. And I knew it was mainly highway because I, was, I wanted to get to Port Emmont as soon as I could, and that's getting into Patagonia. But I just didn't realise how tough the day would be. You know, four gas, gas stops, um, and just a really, really tough day. And, you know, just stuck in traffic, like accidents everywhere, because people were just doing crazy shit all the time, because everyone was in a rush. And sort of none of it made any sense to me. It was a Sunday. And um, yeah, so I just pounded out the miles and just just kept a distance from the cars in front of me and just let whatever crazy people wanted to do, uh, how they wanted to do it. The problem was I booked a hotel. Um, I'd only camped four or five times the whole trip so far. Maybe a bit long, a bit more, but not many more days. And uh, so I ended up uh, camping along a river uh, Rahu, I think it's called, uh, the Rio Rah Rahu, uh, about 10, or five to 10 miles outside of, on the other side of Osorno, because I just wanted to get going first thing in the morning. So basically, um, I only got a handful of photos from the trip. The camera was playing up, maybe it was because of my trip to Valparaiso, where it was a lot of dust and dirt, but nothing at the end of the day, and when I got the rushes from the end of the day, the, the footage from the end of the day, there, no videos were recorded. Uh, it's probably a good thing too because I pretty much spent most of the video swearing at people. Um, but uh, you can see I'm doing 124 there. Um, but just um, about about 30 minutes, maybe an hour outside of town, I got a I stopped off at a gas station to fill up, um, and. Uh, and I got a message from the hotel saying that, uh, sorry, but uh, because I was running so late, it was already dark, that they've booked my hotel room. So then I had to find something in the dark and I just thought, look, I knew where this river was and there was a campground there. I met these people on the way a couple of times um, on a couple of different trips. But anyway, so I just ended up setting up camp in the dark, which I didn't do very well. Um, I've got this uh, tent, which I'll review at the end of the at the end of the, all these videos. I'll review all the products that I used, the good, the bad, and the ugly, uh, at the end of the trip. But basically, um, it was useless trying to find a hotel because I didn't know where to look, and I just thought just just ride a few miles out of town. And th there was this campground, and the people there were really nice, and they let me camp up. And uh, I had some lighting, but I just got the camp. I just got the tent up. Um, as quickly as possible and just um, put my bike inside the tent and then just fell asleep. I was so exhausted. So in Osorno I grabbed some food, I went into the centre square, met some people there, some really nice guys. Uh, you'll see him at one of the guys at the end of it, end of the video. Some bikers in the centre square, stopped there for about half an hour, got some drinks, got a little bit of a bite to eat and then headed to the campground. Um, But I was, I was not in a good mood. Um, you know, I was just tired and cranky. Uh, I didn't, didn't realise it was going to be such a tough ride. And those sort of days, sometimes the, riding on, on open roads for a long period of time is not so bad. But in knowing that you're going to be late, and then just uh, accidents here, there, and everywhere, uh, because people just don't know how to drive, and they're just always in a rush on their mobile phones. Little, little tiny thing happens and they've got no idea how to control the car in that situation. So there's probably about five accidents along the way and that put me back about three or four hours um, just sitting in traffic and basically just turning the bike off. You can go up the shoulder and get away and, and do all of that but I was just sick of that because all I was doing was going up the shoulder and then getting to the front and then getting in, getting in the back of another accident and then another accident. You can't actually ride past the accident. So I just, uh, just stood my ground and and, um, and just bide my time. But it was a pretty boring ride, uh, trip. Um, but you know, I knew that something special was about to happen. So I just wanted to get get to Portamont, uh, organise the ferry, 
because there's a road you've got to take in Port Amont. You, you ride to a certain place and you get a ferry because you can't ride any further than that. Uh, you get a ferry with your car or your bike and then from there you get another little ferry and then you're basically deep in it and I couldn't wait for it. Uh, yeah, so um, I'd organised myself to get a nice uh, a nice uh, Airbnb over that period and uh, and a few days in Port of Montmartre, I had to organise the tickets and I knew it wasn't that easy. And this is a guy and there's a bunch of guys on street bikes and Harleys that I met. He was a really, really nice guy and helped me out a hell of a lot and showed me some roads I should take and I, de I, I took his advice and I'll never regret it, I can tell you. So yeah, guys, questions and comments below, but a sad day. <laughs>